Welcome to our new video. We're going to talk about febrile disease, stable fast to learn more about this disorder. And at the end of the video, we have some questions and summary slide. So let's get started. When you have febrile disease, a certain type of fatty substance builds up in the cells of your body. We're going to talk about this fatty substance later, but it causes narrowing in your blood vessels, which can hurt your skin kidneys, heart, brain, and nervous system. And you get febrile disease from your parents. It's passed down through genes. Typical onset is during childhood, but it may also appear in 60 to 80 years of adults because it has several different subtypes and some of them starts during childhood some of them start during adulthood and it mainly affects boys it affects an estimated one in 40,000 to 60,000 males and it's a rare x-linked lysosomal storage disease resulting the deficiency of alpha galactosidase a and the deficiency of this enzyme is leading to progressive accumulation of the lipid we have talked at the beginning of the video, glycosphingolipids. As a result, you are going to have narrow blood vessels and this is going to cause some symptoms. And the early trial of the symptoms are peripheral neuropathy, neuropathy because of the damage seen in nerve cells, Angiokeratomas, which are benign tumor of capillaries, it's most commonly seen in, on trunk or thighs. And you can see one of the uh, patients who have angiokeratomas on this picture. And hypohydrosis, it's an interesting symptom seen in Febreze disease, uh, which is inadequate sweating in response to stimuli. As we said earlier, angiokeratomas are benign tumors of capillaries seen in febrile disease. It's pretty characteristic. And the late symptoms are affecting heart. You can see the symptoms related heart, for example, cardiomyopathy, cerebrovascular lesions, for example, stroke can be seen in febrile disease. And most importantly, febrile nephropathy is causing progressive renal failure and the most common causes of death in febrile disease are related to kidney and heart renal failure or cardiovascular disease are the most common causes of death in these patients and there are two treatments the first one is enzyme replacement therapy mm -hmm. and the second one is never option which is oral medication called Galafol. And the first one, the most commonly used one, is enzyme replacement therapy, which is uh, replacing the enzyme that is missing or is not working correctly. This allows your body to break down fatty acid substances the way it should. And the oral medication is different from enzyme replacement therapy it works to stabilize the enzymes that are not working and these are the treatment options and we have some questions and let's start what is the deficient or defective enzyme associated with febrile disease we have said that alpha galactosidase a is deficient or defective in these patients an enzyme usually cleaves ceramide trihexoside and when you are not cleaving that you are going to see accumulation and which lysosomal storage disorders are X-linked recessive inheritance one of them are Fabry disease the second one hunter syndrome and all other diseases are autosomal recessive inherited as a summary, febrile disease is caused by alpha-galactosidase deficiency, which results in the accumulation of ceramide trihexoside. 
and the triad, the early triad that you're going to see is episodic peripheral neuropathy because of the damage of the nerves, angiokeratomas and hypohydrosis in a decrued secretion of sweat. These are the early signs, early triad. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video.